So with our little skeletal crew that we're doing here, um, we're not going to do all of the things that we normally do. I was originally scheduled to be in Santa Rosa at the Center for Spiritual Living today. So we had already scheduled, ske scheduled Heather Houston to be here, um, doing something a little bit different, combining her skills, doing the message and the music. Um, and you know what? I'm here, she's here, but I'm going to give the pulpit to her. And I'd like to introduce her in case you don't know her, you really need to get to know her. Very few people have perfect pitch. I still want to give you credit for that. <laughs> and as it turns out, uh, we're neighbors. Uh, she grew up right across the street from where I live. So I have a little fondness now um, in terms of being neighbors too. This is a little bit of her bio. Heather Houston is passionate, and I can attest to that, about uplifting hearts, freeing voices, transforming lives, and building strong and loving communities through the power of singing. She just released her second solo album, Sisters of the Moon, which features the ethereal voices of her 40 women's choir, Yale Latte. Her first solo album, Prayers for the Water, is a ZMR top 10 album. I highly recommend it, it's good. Both are available on all live streaming platforms. And not only is Heather an international recording artist, she spreads her magic through her 20 plus years of, of uh, song leading and providing vocal coaching. And her online programs, The Art of Mindful Singing and Sisters in Harmony Song Chant Leader Training are available. I also encourage you to do that. Many of the people in our community who are part of our choir have trained with Heather, and I know that they're that much stronger for it. She's been a part of our Inner Light community for over 15 years. To stay connected to Heather, please visit her website, heatherhoustonmusic.com. That's heatherhoustonmusic.com. And with no further ado, I'm going to invite Heather to come on up, take another deep breath, and allow yourself to be blessed. And even though you might not be in the audience, when she asked you to participate, I encourage you to participate. Hello, everybody. I'm Heather. Hi. <laughs> Saying hi to the camera people. Hi to all the live streamers out there. I'm so glad that you're with us. Um, this is the way that we stay connected right now, right? One of the ways. Um, we're just going to start with song. Come in. Come in, please come in, come in, come in. There's a place for you at the table, please come in. You can bring your sadness. You can bring your joy, you can bring your pain, your hope, your dreams. We accept all of you, all of you is welcome here. Oh, come in, come in, please come in. Come in, come in. There's a place for you at the table. Please come in. You can bring your sadness. You can bring your joy. You can bring your pain, your hope 
helps your dreams. We accept all of you. All of you is welcome here. Oh, come in, come in. Please come in. I want to invite everyone to take a nice deep inhale with me. And a sigh on your exhale. That is a song by my beloved, dear, dear friend, Molly Hartwell. Bringing one hand to your chest and one hand to your belly. Just tuning in. Just noticing, observing what you're feeling in this moment. Just allowing that to be. Good. Taking a nice, another deep breath with me, deep down into the belly. All of you is welcome here. And as Rev D often says, we need to feel, heal, deal, right? And sometimes we need to feel the feels. And that's an important part of the healing process. That's an important part of moving through and into the greater yet to be. So, I'm so grateful that we're here together on this beautiful day, this World Water Day. Um, I just want to presence too that this is World Water Day. We are also here not only to honor each other, but to honor our waters, our sacred waters. And I want to sing a beautiful chant by Doreen Day that I learned from my friend Zoe um, that is an Ojibwe song that says, Water, we love you. Water, we honor you. Water, we bless you. Nibe Kisa Keiko Kimi Kwecha Thank you for sustaining life on this beautiful, breathing, living planet that we have the blessing of walking upon. So beautiful live streamers out there, I would love to know who you are and where you're from. I am on Facebook Live with you right now, and I would love, I'm not on the the, the stream, the live stream for Inner Light, but I'm on Facebook Live. So if you're on Facebook Live right now, please say your name, say where you're from, let us know that you're here. Um, every, everyone is welcome here. So, um, can you hear me if I'm not, can everyone hear me if I'm not talking in there? So I need to stay here on this mic as well. Okay. <laughs> This is all so new to me. Um, I'm so grateful to be here. 
It was funny when, um, when Rev D asked me to be the guest speaker on this day, I, um, I freaked out for about 10 seconds. <laughs> and then I got to my yes in about 10 seconds. And I thought, you know what? If Rev D is asking me to come stand on her pulpit and speak, I must be ready. And I got to my yes. And um, then she texted me right after that. And she said, say yes now, freak out later. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, great, I already freaked out, I already got to my yes, I'm doing it. And as you know, life has been moving and shifting and changing so rapidly in the last five, six weeks since she asked me. The name of my talks changed four times. And I, I finally landed on, Kevin and I actually went skiing in Tahoe, and we were up at the top of a mountain, and I said, tending the spark. That's the name of my talk. And um, that's the one that landed. That's the one that stuck. And that is um, the title of uh, the name of one of my songs, Tending the Spark. And um, Tending the Spark, um, I'm going to go back to that in a minute. Um, first, I want to say that the theme of the month is power. and what I realized for myself, how do I feel power? I feel power in community. I feel power in my breath. I feel power in presence. I feel power when I'm out in nature. I feel power when I am able to attune to the energy of the divine. And so this, this talk um, title, Tending the Spark, it's really about tending to that spark inside that feels that sense of power and that connection with the divine, connection with love. Because sometimes we forget, right? Sometimes we forget who we are in our true essence. Sometimes we get scared. Sometimes we get into spinning stories and we allow fear to run our day or this moment or our lives. And that spark inside that knows who we are, truly knows who we are, needs tending to. So I wonder for all of you um, out there in Facebook world and, and also on the live stream, if you want to um, just say, speak into the live stream, what are some of the ways that you tend to that spark of hope, that spark of connecting with the divine? What is, what is a way that you do that? And I want to see who's here. Uh, Gabby's here from Boston. Hi, Gabby. Wendy's here. Hi. Uh, Bob and Jane from Watsonville, Cindy, yeah, thank you for the hearts. Throw some more hearts up there, everybody. Let's feel the love. I really want us to feel the love of our global community. We are here together. We may be physically distanced, but we are here together right now. One heart, one breath, one eternal consciousness. We are here right now. Oh, Ashley. Hi, Ashley. Prayer brings you into that space. Jane, um, this community and this ministry, yes. Esther. Hi, Esther. Rev D, the staff and the singers. Yes, the choir. Thank you for your love, wisdom, beauty, and inspiration. Rose, we are here with you, Heather. Thank you, Rose. Melissa, meditation, yoga, dance. Walking in the forest, yes, walking in the forest, connecting with the earth. This is so good. And something that I said in a, um, in a newsletter recently was how good it's been feeling for me to hug trees, truly, because we can't hug each other. I'm such a hugger. I love hugging people. And it is so, it is like the most grief in my heart I think I've felt not being able to hug my people. <laughs> and I just want to name that for us. Like that's, that's a loss right now, and that's real. And um, I have felt great refuge in hugging trees and pressing my heart to the heart of another living being. So nourishing. Renee, um, maybe I can move the Facebook microphone closer. 
<laughs> How's that? Is that better, Renee? Oh, good. Okay. Amy. Hi, Amy. My cousin Amy's here. Good. Michelle, breathe, stretch this community. Yvette, you're watching. Gretchen, cuddling with your fur babies. Oh, yeah, me too. Good one. All right. Thank you, everybody. Thanks for chiming in there. Ah, so um, I just want to invite um, each of you to whatever worries, fears, um, anything that has been present for you. Um, we welcomed all of those. Um, we brought them into the space, welcomed them, honor them. And I want to now invite you to just place them on the altar, a uh, metaphoric altar, this beautiful physical altar that we have, however you can, just allowing yourself to let go of that, that space for the next little while. And we're just going to be together in the light and in the joy and in what's here. So um, I brought a reading for you today from um, Joanna Macy um, from her book called Active Hope. And the reason why I, I brought a, a reading from Joanna Macy is because the song Tending the Spark came through one night after I listened to a talk by Joanna. I It was right after the um, it was right after the, um, the fires that happened in Chico, the, um, the campfire. And um, we were all feeling so vulnerable, right? And it's just so vulnerable um, to feel what's happening on our planet sometimes, um, and just so much grief. And um, so I laid down in my bed and I said, God, um, after I listened to Joanna's talk about um, the great turning and the great awakening, which I'll, um, and the great unraveling and business as usual, I'm going to speak to that in a few minutes. Um, I just laid down and, and I said, God, um, I am ready for a song to come through. And there's a beautiful song, Tending the Spark, that is so perfect for these times we are in, came through. And it's been a favorite um, for so many. But this is a beautiful... Um, beautiful reading by Joanna Macy called Trusting the Spiral. And she talks about active hope, right? Not just about a wishy-washy hope. Active hope is not wishful thinking. Active hope is not waiting to be rescued by the Lone Ranger or by some savior. Active hope is waking up to the beauty of life on whose behalf we can act. We belong to this world. The web of life is calling us forth at this time. We've come a long way and are here to play our part. With active hope, we realize that there are adventures in store, strengths to discover, and comrades to link arms with, from six feet apart for right now. <laughs> with active hope, we realize that, oh, sorry, I read that part. Active hope is a readiness to engage active uh, in ourselves and in others, a readiness to discover the reasons for hope and the occasions for love, a readiness to discover the size and strength of our hearts, our quickness of mind, our steadiness of purpose, our own authority, our own love for life the liveliness of our curiosity, the unsuspected deep well of patience and diligence, the keenness of our senses, and our capacity to lead. None of this can be discovered in an armchair or without risk.
And we will care for each other As the world around us unravels And we will tend to the spark Of hope that lives within our grieving hearts And we are here now in this present moment Lifting our voices and hearts And we are here now We have come together We are tending the spark of hope Oh, may it grow of hope that lives within our grieving hearts and we are here now in this present moment lifting our voices and hearts and we are here now we have come together we are tending the spark of beloveds in your life that you are caring for, that you want to care for, that you are available to care for. And knowing and trusting that those beings are also available for you in these times. Now if we can, just expanding the energy of the heart a little bit more, expanding that to our local communities, knowing and trusting that we are here for each other. We will care for each other. We will get through this. And extending that to the global community, imagining the whole world Just sending a big hug with your heart to the whole planet. Thank you. 
So, this song speaks about the great unraveling, right? And Joanna Macy talks about we are in a time when there is a great unraveling taking place. Systems and structures as we know them are unraveling. So much is shifting right now. And at the same time, there's a great awakening, a great turning. There are people on the planet who are tending that spark of hope, who are tending to the planet, who are stewarding the way through to our greater yet to be. There is a, a divine order at work here. There are, there's more, orchest be, more being orchestrated than our little human brains can even fathom. And we need to trust that. And we need to be part of that great awakening, that great turning, part of that movement of people who are helping to usher us into a new way of being and living in the world, on this planet, that's more sustainable, that is sustainable for all of us. And we need to trust that we are being guided, right? It's in those still quiet moments, or however you said earlier, right? Yoga, stretching, nature, where we can tune in and we can know what is our work to do in the world, ours. We each have a unique role to play in this moment in time. Each one of you has a unique role to play. And we need you. And that's part of that activated hope, right? We're all doing this together. We're all in this together. So this is my Shruti box. We're going to go into a beautiful song that came through for a room full of women entrepreneurs. Um, I also want to say that before we completely go into this, one piece that I wanted to say is Joanna Macy also talks about how the great unraveling and the great turning and business as usual, which really no one's doing anymore. <laughs> you can't really right now, right? Um, it kind of, it, it creates so much uncertainty within our hearts. And when we have uncertainty, one of the most powerful things that we have is the present moment. And we're here now in this present moment with each other. We're so blessed. Oh, I am opening up for a dance with divine mystery. Oh, I am trusting the path that's unfolding before me with ease. Oh, I am opening up for a dance with divine mystery. Keep going. Oh, I am trusting the path that's unfolding before me with ease. Again. Oh, I Yes, we are. Oh, I am trusting the path that's unfolding before me with ease. Keep singing if you like that part. Just let go now. Trust the flow. Just let go. Just let go now, trust the flow, just let go.
trusting the path that's unfolding before me with ease. We, oh, we are opening up for a dance with divine mystery. Oh, we are trusting the path that's unfolding before us with ease. Just breathe into that. We are. We are opening up to a dance with divine mystery. And we are right on time now. There is no accident that any of us are alive at this time on the planet. That is not an accident. And we are right on time. We're aligned. Let's breathe that in. Beautiful. So we're going to pray together with a beautiful chant that came through a couple of years ago when I was in need of some prayer medicine. And all you need to know are the words, you are so loved. Are we praying now? Oh, we, we have one more. Is that okay? I'm watching the time and I'm, I'm t cutting myself short, but maybe three more minutes? Okay, great. <laughs> ah, um, great, so I want to take us to um, the great outdoors. This is a song called Rewild My Soul. And this came through um, at a time when I was holding on for dear life, and it was manifesting in my arms. And I had a lot of letting go to do. And I was visiting my sister up in Washington State, Northern Washington, and she lived at the time on this beautiful piece of property that overlooks a beautiful river. Uh, it's actually called, it's actually a creek. Um, but to me, it's a river because it's ginormous compared to anything that we have here in Santa Cruz. <laughs> so to me, it's my river. Um, and it opens up to this beautiful valley and forest and beyond is Mount Baker. And this is in her backyard. Was. She sold that piece of property. But she had it for, I think, over 12 years. And I would go there every summer. And I would camp out in the yard because um, there wasn't enough room for me in the house with all the dogs and cats and um, rabbits and goats and chickens and kids. And um, I just needed to camp <laughs> and be outside. Um, so this last, not last summer, but the summer before, um, I was sitting outside my tent in deep meditation, just asking, what is this? What, what needs to let go here? And just really tuned into the natural world around me. And this beautiful song started coming through. Oh, river, rewild my soul. Help me let go of control. Show my heart how to flow. What is it? Flow so free again? What are my words? Thank you. Flow with ease again. I sometimes forget the words to my own songs because they are truly a channel. I don't write them. <laughs> and it's hilarious. Even in the middle of rehearsal, I forget words or at a concert. Anyway, here we are. I forgot one of my words. Um, um, uh, show my heart how to flow so free again. Flow with ease again. I am ready. Take me in. And before I knew it, I, was, I found myself up out of my meditation with my shoes on, running down to the river and jumping from rock to rock and experiencing the sky and the eagles and the mountain and the forest and the sunshine and the breeze and 
just allowing it all to be a part of me, for me to be a part of it. And I received this whole song, and I came back um, to my sister and sang it to her in the kitchen. And she sang with me, because um, it was easy to feed the words, and I'll do the same with you. And um, we just cried and just really affirmed how powerful, what, what powerful medicine nature is. And I want, I want to remind every single one of us that, that nature is such a powerful place for us to go and be right now. If you live in the city, go to a park, lie on the grass, get down with the earth, hug a tree. You'll be all the better for it. People are saying thank you on Facebook. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> Such an honor to be here. Oh, river, rewild my soul. Help me let go. Show my heart how to flow with ease again. I am ready. Take me in. Oh, mountain, rewild my soul. How to be spaciousness again. I am ready. Take me in. Oh, soft breeze. Oh, soft breeze. Rewild my soul. Help me let go of control. How to be clear and cleansed again. I am ready. Take me in. Oh, forest. Oh, forest. Sing with us. Rewild my soul. Help me let go of control. to trust this path how to trust this path again 
I am ready. Take me in. Oh, sunshine. Oh, sunshine. Rewild my soul. Help me let go of control. shine with warmth how to shine with warmth again I am ready take me in oh mama oh mama rewild my soul help me let go control show my heart how to beat with yours how to beat with yours again I am ready take me in I am ready I am ready take me I am ready, take me in. It's been such an honor to be with you today. I'm going to bring Rev D back up here, and then I'll come back up and close us out with a prayer and, a, and a, another song. And I love you. Thanks for being present with us.